All right, so welcome back to my channel. So lately, I've been noticing that my skin has been clearing up, and I hope you've noticed as well. Um, the texture has really been minimal, and my dark spots are starting to fade, so I'm hoping I could keep my face on the right track to clear skin, because that is the goal. And as much as I love skincare, and as much as I've collected so many products over the years, some have been a waste of money, and some have been very beneficial. I wanted to start sharing with you all some of the products I love, and some that have been life-changing to my skincare routine. And I wanted to start with one of the most relaxing parts of my skincare routine, and that's the mask portion. So if you wanna see my favorite mask, and the mask that I use at the moment to help clear this skin, Keep watching. So first thing first, I love to apply my mask to a freshly clean face. Typically after I've washed my face and also after I've steamed my face. Sometimes I hop right out the shower. You know, obviously the steam from the shower has opened the pores and I'll apply my mask then. But a lot of times I use my facial steamer and I'll sit under that mm, for about 10 minutes or so. Really allow that steam to penetrate into the skin and open the pores and then I'll apply my mask. So also the tools that I use are very important when applying my mask. I use either disposable little cups, these little mouthwash cups you can buy anywhere, drugstore. And then I also use this little mask bowl that came in a mask kit. And I really like this bowl because it's super easy to clean. And it's just my little, it's my little designated mask bowl. So it's just cute. So the tools I use, because I don't like masks to get under my fingernails, so I'll either use a mask brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush from Target, actually. Or this applicator here, also Sonia Kashuk. Or this applicator here, and this is from Sephora. So it's the same spatula style applicator. On the opposite side, it has this little, almost like silicone brush style head and that is used to remove the mask you can also use this for a light exfoliation so i love using these tools and you know obviously my bowls to apply and it just makes it a lot neater and much easier to clean up so they're not a necessity but you know i like to have the spa like feeling so i like to have everything i need so that i'm ready to go so I will say probably the very first mask that I purchased that left me pretty speechless, and this is so old school, it's the Aztec Healing Clay Mask. And this mask is really basic, like literally it says calcium bentonite clay on it because that's all it is. It's nothing special, but what makes it so special to me is when you mix it not with water, but with apple cider vinegar. And the two really work as a detox for the skin. Now, I've also heard of people using essential oils to add into this concoction, but sometimes my skin is a little too sensitive for that. So I literally take my clay. Whoa, did I mean to spill that? I take the powder and I'll just scoop it out. Scoop out a little decent amount and I'll put it in my bowl. I'm gonna actually do two scoops and then i'll take my apple cider vinegar shake that up and i will pour it into the bowl and it is going to fizz up some don't be alarmed but the one thing about this mask is you don't want your mixture to be too thick because once this mask dries it will not move it will not move and it's going to be uncomfortable to take off so you want to make this mask um, definitely a thinner consistency. Let me see if I can show you without spilling it. And you see how that's watery? That's how you want this mask. I mean, you can make it a little thicker, but you don't want it too paste-like. Or um, you really can't leave it on long at all. And I literally take my little bowl and applicator and I just paint it right on the skin. So why this mask detox? I just wanna go over some of my other favorites. Now this next mask is a definite OG as well. I remember picking this up years ago 
um, for the first time and I've still loved this mask. It is the Origins Clear Improvement Charcoal Mask and it is very beneficial for oiliness, pores, dullness, and texture. And it's your typical clay mask ready to apply straight from the tube. It is a great formula. It dries down like a traditional clay mask, but the charcoal really helps with um, texture. And that's why I like this mask a lot. So next up is another Origins clay mask. This one is called Out of Trouble. It is very similar to the charcoal mask um, that I just showed, but the difference is this one is made with zinc oxide and sulfur. So this is really, really great for healing or calming blemishes because it really kills that bacteria. Um, and this one is a beautiful formula and a lot of times I mix the two. So I'll mix the um, charcoal by Origins, the um, clear improvements with the out of trouble. And I literally will do a half and half portion and mix them on the skin. So another mask with a slightly different formula. It goes on like a creamy texture, but it does not dry down like a clay. This one's from Ula Hendrickson. It is the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. It is made with clay and snow lotus extract. And this mask is beautiful. It has kind of that minty tingle feel. Um, and I love what it does for the pores and for uh, calming any blemishes. It's a beautiful formula. Most of these masks are great to apply and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, but this one is very unique because you actually will lather this and use this as a cleanser when you remove it. So I really enjoy this mask for that purpose. And the very last mask that I enjoy, it is the most unique of them all that I own. It is from The Ordinary. It's the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. So it is applied as a mask, but it really does help the skin peel and exfoliate the following days after use. And this mask is nothing to play with. If you have sensitive skin, please use caution when applying. Please do test spots or keep it on only for a few minutes to do a trial run. For me, I know when I could use this mask and I know when I can't. I know when I have sensitive days, I know where I have days that my skin can tolerate it. Um, but when I do use this mask, I will say, instantly the next day, my skin is brighter and my skin complexion, my tone is more even the next day. This mask, when used correctly, is very beneficial and is probably the cheapest out of all. Like honestly, The Ordinary does amazing with their packaging and formula, but also their price point. So something that I discovered as far as how to remove my mask, especially the clay mask, because they tend to dry down and tug at the skin when you're trying to remove them. And that is painful and it's not good at all for the skin. I discovered this trick um, when I was using this cloth to remove my makeup, I wasn't that impressed with it, but using the makeup eraser to remove your mask, life-changing. Because this material is, is it's polyester, but it really feels like a microfiber velvety. I mean, this it's super soft. And then one side with the longer hair is even softer than the other. So you really can't go wrong, but I'll literally wet this bad boy. I removed my mask and I could remove my entire mask with just one cloth. And I own several, I clean them well and I hang dry them and I only use them to remove my mask. Um, please pick this up. It is a game changer and it makes applying the mask and removing it just so easy, so easy. Like it's a spa filling at the house, in the bathroom that you can do to yourself. So I'm gonna remove this mask and I'll be right back. Now you know my skin is sensitive because it always turns a little red when I use these masks. But I'm not alarmed because good skin days are ahead and that is all that matters. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Peace.